What is going on guys? Uh, I got a little quick project. It's not gonna be a prop. Uh, this is gonna be some work on my my Impreza, the 2001 2.5 RS. Um, I'm gonna be installing a strut tower bar. Let me show you this thing. It's pretty cool. Okay, here it is. It is carbon fiber and I've also heard that it's titanium, although I can't confirm that. Um, it doesn't look like aluminum or steel. I mean, this might be this might be aluminum. I don't know, but it's so light. It doesn't weigh a thing, so I'm pretty sure it's not steel. Um, it could be titanium. It could be aluminum. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, my favorite part is the label here, where it says Fuji Heavy Industries Ltd. Aerospace Division. That is just freaking awesome. I love that. Anyways, this goes uh, under the hood across these two strut towers and uh, it's gonna help stiffen it up just a little bit. Now it is debatable whether or not these actually make a difference. My personal opinion is this doesn't weigh enough that I have to worry about weight and I feel like any chassis rigidity is uh, that we can add is going to be good. So, and it looks cool, so whatever. I've got it, I'm gonna put it on. Should only take a minute, there's only three bolts for each side. So we take those off, put this on, tighten them back down. All right, these are the bolts, one, two, three. And one, two, three. Just gotta loosen those up. Hopefully my sockets are deep enough. They may not be, and I'm not sure if I have deep wells in that size, which are probably 10 millimeter. Um, so I might have to go buy a tool in order to do this. Not, not deep enough on any of them. All right, so it looks like I gotta go to the hardware store. I don't have metric deep well sockets. Uh, the only sockets I have are like imperial sizes, like you know five eighths and one half, and um, that that sort of thing. Um, everything on this car is metric, so I'm amazed I don't have the sockets for it. But I don't think I've ever needed deep wells for it before because I've only ever like done brakes. I'll take that back. I did the air conditioner. Whatever. Anyway, um, gotta make a trip because I'll never get those off um, and never get them back on without them. So we're going to go uh, purchase some sockets. That's fun. Buying tools is fun. All right, just got back from Harbor Freight. Got my deep wells. We should be ready to go. Aha. Twelve millimeter.
Alright, so it's on, it's beautiful, it looks like it should have always been there. Uh, the only thing left is I gotta, I gotta torque it down, I got my uh, torque setting set to 14 pounds and uh, just gonna tighten those up and we're done. All right, there it is. I like how it's just kind of tucked up there. It's pretty out of the way. It looks like it belongs. It's not some crazy looking color. Yeah. I love OEM parts that are like a little bit more dialed in, a little bit more pur purposeful for, um, we'll say spirited driving. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna be it. Um, gonna be doing probably a few more projects on this car here. I'm trying to get it back up to snuff so it'll pass inspection and um, it can be a fun car to drive. This car is getting old enough to where it's getting a lot of uh, surprise problems that are very expensive. So I'll probably be getting rid of that. Um, the idea is instead of having a car payment, replacing that car, spend that money getting this car up to snuff because I've already had all like the major things go wrong with this car and I've already replaced like everything that's re gonna really go bad. So I got an easy like 60, 70,000 miles probably before I gotta worry about anything on this car for a while. So um, yeah, and I love this car. This is, this is like my favorite pair of jeans when it comes to cars. It's just, I like the way it drives. I like the way it handles. It's just a fun car. I like the way it looks. I love rally cars. So it's just got a, a sportiness to it that uh, you don't get in today's cars, I feel like. Anyways, um, I got a project on my bench right now I can't make a video about, and that's why I'm doing this car and car video instead. Um, the reason why is it's YouTube doesn't like videos of with real guns, and I'm working on a real um, Webley fire or a flare pistol. So um, not gonna be publishing that as a video. It will be on the blog, I will do a brief little blog post on that with some pictures and kind of talking about what's going on, how I'm doing it. Um, just if anybody's interested. And then I should be getting back to my regular, my regularly scheduled program, if you will. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. I'll talk to you guys later. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. That's a stupid thing.